The Philadelphia Eagles started out this week with a bang by announcing that veteran guard Stefan Wisniewski has indeed re-signed with the team. According to NFL insider Mike Garofolo, the deal is said to be worth $1.5 million over a year with an extra $500,000 being available in playing time incentives. Now this is interesting because originally Wisniewski was set to make $3.7 million in 2019, but the Eagles failed to pick up his option, letting him walk and saving $2.2 million against the cap as a result. So months pass, the NFL draft comes and goes, and then the Eagles bring back Wisniewski for a fraction of what they would have paid him had they picked up that option. Now, the decision to let him go was a move that only benefited both sides. While being a long-term starter since joining the Eagles in 2016, with 24 starts under his belt, he was actually benched in the heart of 2018 for a reason that not many people understood. It wasn't as if Wisniewski was playing drastically worse than any of the other linemen who were struggling at that time. According to Pro Football Focus, Wisniewski allowed just 50 15 pressures in 412 pass blocking snaps last year, only one sack was enabled on those hurries. In comparison, Isaac Sayamalo allowed 21 pressures in 345 pass blocking snaps and another sack as well, but the move was made and Wisniewski since arriving has wanted to be a starter. He played through his pre-bit contract, signed a three-year extension and in 2017 was a crucial cog in the Eagles Super Bowl run. But then one year later after being benched and Wisniewski with those same concerns again, allowing him to walk into free agency, let him test the open market, let him see if there is a starting role available to him somewhere. And after months of deliberation, it turned out there wasn't. So Wisniewski comes home, takes a healthy pay cut in comparison to what he would have earned before on that three-year deal, or importantly, bring some much-needed solidarity to the Eagles' offensive line. The thing is, we don't know the health status of Brandon Brooks. Is he going to be healthy? Is he not? Will he play in week one? Will he miss OTAs? Will he miss training camp? It's all up in the air after his Achilles injury at the end of last season. And as things stood, it meant that Isaac Sayamalo would likely play left guard, and the Eagles would have maybe needed an emergency right guard, which they just didn't have. So debates of moving tackles inside or putting pressure on TCU's Matt Pryor, a second year fifth round selection was beginning to mount. Wisniewski at 30 years old, again with 24 starts under his belt, not only brings NFL experience from so many years now, but he's been involved in this offense, in this team, on that offensive line. He's been instrumental since his arrival in Philadelphia, fits exactly what the Eagles want to do, and can slot back in as if he never left. He's basically just had a slightly extended offseason. So the Eagles save money on what they would have paid Wisniewski, sign Sayamalo to a new contract, bring Wisniewski back, and now they have that insurance policy where if, and for whatever reason, Brandon Brooks is unable to go, you've got Wisniewski at right guard, Sayamalo at left, and that offensive line is still just as effective. Not only that, but let's remember here that Wisniewski is versatile. He played as a centre for the Jacksonville Jaguars and can play both guard spots. So if something even happens to Sayamalo or Jason Kelsey, you've got a player that can fill in in both of those roles and maybe, just maybe after this year, reset that prove it deal and get himself a longer term deal either in Philadelphia or elsewhere. Move is a no-brainer. The Eagles lack some veteran leadership at the interior guard position, and if Brandon Brooks truly is going to miss some time in 2019, they needed a guy they could rely on, and you don't get much more reliable than Stefan Wisniewski. The Eagles are getting as reliable a guard as they could possibly find, and again, someone that has been there, done that, and knows this team inside out. This was a smart move for Howie Roseman, and we're going to dive into this much more in the offseason, but it's hard to really suggest this team isn't at least as ready to win a Super Bowl as it was in 2017. The depth throughout this locker room is absolutely insane, thanks to yet another strong off season from Howie Roseman and company. But what do you think of the move, guys? Let me know down in the comments section below. You can follow me on Twitter, at LiamJenkins21. I'll see you next time.